Hello everybody, my name is Citrus, and you didn't hear it from me, but a little birdie told me that Nintendo is gonna make another Switch. With all these rumors flying around, I thought it would be fun to create a list of some features that I would like to see for this next generation the Switch, or the Switch 2. And to keep this list from getting particularly stale, I've decided to break it up into two categories, the needs and the wants, aka the more technical things, the hardware things, versus some of the silly, goofy stuff that probably only I want to see. <laughs> we're going to be alternating between these two categories just to keep things fresh, but we're going to start with need number one. First up in the needs category is similar power to a PS4 or Xbox One. I think this one is pretty self-explanatory. The Switch is a little underpowered. It's roughly comparable to a PlayStation 3, so it only makes sense that the next Switch would be similar to a PlayStation 4. Not much else to say about this one other than please. And the first of the wants category is DLSS. Now, if you don't know what DLSS is, it actually stands for... Duh. What does it stand for? Actually, I, I did that as a bit, but now I need to look it up. DLSS stands for Deep Learning Super Sampling, which is a fancy way of saying AI upscaling for your graphics. Essentially, with this technology, games can look a whole lot better with a lot less processing power, which would be great for a handheld. It's quite new technology, which makes me a bit skeptical that Nintendo will jump on the bandwagon this early, but it would be really cool if they did, and I think the next Switch could really utilize it well. Next in the needs category is a bezel-less screen. Again, this is a pretty self-explanatory one. Most screen technology nowadays has practically no edge to it, so Nintendo should really follow suit. It would also be nice if we got the OLED screen that's in the current OLED Switch model, but I feel like Nintendo might go back on that, I'm not really sure. Either way though, whether it's OLED or not, bezel-less is really a must. And next on the wants list, we have swappable backplates. I absolutely adore little customization features like this. The PS5 has it, the new Nintendo 3DS used to have it, the Game Boy Micro had it, and I think it would be really cool if the next Switch had some sort of customization option like this as well. You can make so many cool limited edition designs and bundle them with collector's editions of games, and it would just be a really fun way to customize your Switch. It's certainly not necessary, but that's why it's in the wants category. Next in the needs category, we have fixed Joy-Con. The Joy-Con drift issue has been plaguing the Switch pretty much since it came out. Throw some Hall Effect sticks in there and just call it a day. Actually, while you're at it, maybe make them a little bit bigger too. I feel like that would be kind of nice. And something I've kind of thought about is maybe giving them the more membrane squishy buttons like on the Switch Lite. I guess those are more leaking into the wants category, but the main thing is fix your damn controllers. Next in the wants category and sort of tying into the whole Joy-Con thing, we have adaptive triggers. The DualShock 5 controllers on the PS5 have this really unique feature called adaptive triggers, where depending on what you're doing in the game, the triggers will actually create more resistance in them to mimic the feeling of whatever you're doing in the game. For example, if you're playing a game where you use a bow and arrow, when you're pulling back the bow, the trigger will actually create more tension similar to a real bow. This is exactly the kind of technology that I think Nintendo could really utilize well and would get an absolute kick out of, and I think it would be so cool to see what they could do with something like this in the Joy-Cons in combination with the HD Rumble. It would be really cool. Next on the needs category, we're going to rapid fire through a couple of really quick ones here. Better Wi-Fi, bigger storage, and better HD Rumble. Again, these are all pretty self-explanatory. The Switch has pretty terrible Wi-Fi, so we really need a better Wi-Fi chip in there. The Switch doesn't come with much onboard storage, so it would be nice to get more of that. And HD Rumble being a little bit improved, I think would be a nice touch. Next in the wants category, we have a camera. I feel like this one sort of needs more of an explanation since not many people really miss the cameras on the DSi or the 3DS, but I really do. I feel like with the Switch combining Nintendo's handheld and home console markets, we sort of lost that gadgety sort of gizmo vibes that the DS and 3DS used to have. 
and I think throwing the camera back into the mix would be a nice way for these devices to feel more like gadgets again. I don't think it would just be for taking photos in random places like people do with their DSi. I think there's a huge potential for some really cool AR games on the Switch. With stuff like Pokemon Go and other AR monster catching games being pretty popular in the past couple years, I think the Switch could be home to some really cool experiences using the AR technology if they decide to add a camera. They could even have it replace the IR camera that's on the current right Joy-Con, and you could do some really fun things with that, having a little tiny portable camera. Imagine like a Luigi's Mansion spin-off game, where you're aiming around your room with the camera on the Joy-Con to try and find AR ghosts, and when you find them you have to hit a button on the controller to suck them up. It would be a really cool experience. And for the last thing in the needs category, we have full backwards compatibility. I really cannot stress this enough, but the Switch 2 needs to be able to play all of the original Switch games. I think it would be a real shame if we couldn't play all of our favorite titles from the original Switch on the next one. I know it would be a bit challenging to get some of the more experimental titles like Labo and Ring Fit Adventure necessarily working on the next Switch if the design of the whole thing changes, but I really think that it is necessary for those titles to be included in the mix of Switch games playable on the next Switch. And something that I would also really really like to see is a native performance improvement for the original Switch games. I'm honestly not even entirely sure if this is possible, but if there is a framework for original Switch titles to just run better and run at a higher resolution on the next generation Switch without any sort of major update being pushed to all of them, that would be incredibly cool. And I can certainly think of a couple games that would severely benefit from this. And the last thing of the entire wish list as a whole, we have a more fun UI with cool features. I know that's sort of broad, but what I mean is to go back again to that sort of gadgety vibe that Nintendo handhelds used to have. With older Nintendo handhelds, you would get the system and there were loads of things to do without even necessarily playing a game. You could take photos and record audio messages and send pictures to your friend back and forth on your DS's, and it was a really fun time. There was free software like on the 3DS with Face Raiders or Photo Dojo on the DSi. Or even thinking of something like the Wii with the Wii channels. There were so many wacky little channels that you could download and mess around with. Shoutouts to the voting channel. On the Switch, you can like make a me, look at screenshots. There really isn't much to do on the Switch and I think that should be rectified. It'd be really cool to have something like a Face Raiders or a Photo Dojo on the Switch that would just come pre-installed. Bring back those features like the audio recording and taking photos and drawing and sending things to your friends. Those were all really fun things to do on the DS and on the Wii. And let's get a more fun UI in here. I'm tired of looking at the boring white or the boring black default themes. Let's throw some color in there at the very least. Let me use screenshots from games that I've played as my background or sell themes like the PlayStation does and even the 3DS used to. The 3DS themes were so good. They would change up how the folders look, how the top and bottom screens look, and sometimes would even add music. Something like that for the Switch would be incredible. It would be so cool. I know none of these things are super integral to the gaming experience. The Switch has been doing fine sales-wise without any of these features, so I don't think anyone's really missing them that much. But I do think they add a ton of charm to a system, and I think they're one of my favorite aspects of how Nintendo designs hardware and software. In conclusion, please bring back Flipnote. And that was my next gen Switch wish list. This was a really fun list to put together, you know, dreaming of what features the next Nintendo console might have. Knowing Nintendo though, the next Switch probably won't have any of this stuff and we'll just have like a built-in DDR pad. Let me know what you guys thought of my list down below though, and if you have any more suggestions or things that you would like to see on the next generation Switch, please drop a comment. And yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I will see you all later. Peace.